our young friend chooses this new General Electric cutout for target practice, he'll be in for a surprise. It won't shatter, chip, or crack. Budding young marksmen are just one on-the-line hazard that General Electric's new Durabute open cutout eliminates. There are others. I'm pretty sure you'll agree that up to date, there has been no perfect cutout on the market. To fill the need for one, General Electric set out to design a completely new cutout, one that would include all the best features of existing cutouts. Drawing on years of experience and countless talks with cutout customers, GE sales engineers drafted a set of ideal open cutout specifications. General Electric engineers next talked with people like yourselves. Distribution engineers, linemen, and purchasing personnel. One by one, they confirmed specific points and drafted a final set of ideal cutout specifications. Using these ground rules as a starting point, General Electric engineers went to work. They explored design modifications that would improve cutout performance and searched for an insulation with electrical and physical characteristics superior to porcelain. They found both and used their new knowledge to design the Durabute open cutout. While there might be nothing new under the sun, the Durabute cutout demonstrates that there are surely new applications of things under the sun. In this case, by combining shape and material, we produce an open cutout that offers superior electrical and mechanical characteristics. The shape is not new. Pythagoras was writing a theorem about it 25 centuries ago. But it's a new shape in open cutouts, chosen because it's the most practical way to fasten a fuse to a pole for structural and electrical reasons. The material is not new. It is high butte 60 the same durable and resilient butyl compound that has been molded around General Electric instrument transformers and proved in service for seven years. But it is a new material in cutouts, and it offers the same outstanding physical and electrical characteristics. It will not sustain combustion, and it can take real punishment. Actually, the combination of two materials make these insulators tough and resilient enough to withstand that kind of abuse. As a supporting core for High Butte 60, we add glass fiber polyester rods, a material of superior tensile strength, as demonstrated at the General Electric Physical Testing Laboratory. Here, sample rods are subjected to high pressure flexure tests to determine their modulus of rupture or breaking point. The modulus of rupture for porcelain is 11,000 pounds per square inch. The modulus of rupture for glass fiber is 90,000 pounds per square inch. Nearly nine times the modulus of rupture for porcelain. This gives high butte 60 glass fiber rods more than enough tensile strength to withstand the forces of any normal clearing. Butte 60 is molded and adhesively bonded under heat and pressure to these polyester rods to form a virtually indestructible insulator. These two elements, shape and material, make possible many features not available in conventional cutouts. By using High Butte 60 rather than porcelain insulation, almost twice the number of petticoats can be molded in a given length, providing 40% more creepage distance and 40% greater strike distance than that provided with porcelain insulators. What would it take to get the same creep and strike advantage in porcelain? An insulator 28% longer and almost 25% heavier. These increased safety margins virtually eliminate flashover and greatly reduce the likelihood of cross-arm burning. There is another important factor that helps reduce the hazard of voltage flashover in Durabute cutouts. That is the ability of High Butte 60 to withstand leakage current or flashover even under conditions of wet contamination. 
Proof of this comes from two tests. The first, a salt fog test, was conducted at the Lightning Arrester and Cutout Test Laboratory in Pittsfield. Conventional and Durabute cutouts were used. After 920 hours, the porcelain petticoats were chipped, pitted, and caked with salt deposits. The Durabute cutout was unaffected. At the end of 1,380 hours, the test on the porcelain unit stopped. Due to excessive leakage current, it had broken in two. The test on the Durabute cutout continued. After 2,026 hours of continual testing, this durable insulation was still unaffected, and leakage current was still at a negligible level. A second contamination test lasted 11 months. At regular intervals, both insulators were alternately sprayed with water, then a dust mixture containing carbon, cement, sand, salt, and fertilizer. Under those conditions, the leakage across the High Butte 60 insulation was less than 5% of the leakage across porcelain. These tests proved the ability of Durabute cutouts to operate in any salt or dust contaminated atmosphere. And the exclusive Durabute cutout features, increased creep and strike distance, greater dielectric strength and superior resistance to tracking virtually eliminate flashovers and pole burning. To see how, let's study a series of tests conducted with Durabute cutouts, all rated 15 kV. Here is a Durabute cutout clearing a fault under normal speed. Now let's study a similar test in slow motion. By increasing the camera speed to 4,000 frames per second, General Electric engineers can see how the Durabute cutout reacts during every instant of fault clearing. This test is at 8900 amperes and utilizes a 30 amp fuse link and shows how a single vented unit operates at high current. At the instant the fuse link blows, watch how the entire cutout elastically takes the recoil in a spring action and gradually transmits the shock forces to the cross arm. For our second test, we increase the fault to 16,000 amperes and insert a 30 amp fuse in a double vented unit. Notice the absence of recoil forces due to double venting. Our third test is conducted at 21,200 amperes. With a 200 amp fuse link and double vented unit, the result is the same. Another successful fault clearing. The fourth test at 335 amperes utilizes an 8 ampere fuse link and single vented cutout. Watch closely as the spring driven flipper pulls the fuse cable free during this low current fault. That's the electrical part of the Durabute story. A new open cutout that can withstand a blow or a blowtorch. A new combination of shape and material that all but eliminates flashover failures and cross-arm burning. A cantilever cutout that protects poles and cross-arms and offers proven interrupting capability over the full range of fault current. Solid electrical reasons why Durabute cutouts provide greater on-the-pole overcurrent protection than any open cutout on the market today. Now let's consider solid mechanical reasons why Durabute cutouts stand head and shoulders over conventional cutouts. From talking with utility engineering and operating personnel, we learned what features they want in an open cutout. It's not a coincidence that Durabute cutouts provide all of them. The weight of Durabute cutouts is a feature warehousemen, linemen, and operating people will like. It's light just about half as heavy as conventional units. It's easier to handle on the ground or on the pole, and its lighter weight reduces stress on the cross arm. When the fuse holder is closed in, it locks firmly. Its positive latch prevents it from being pulled or jarred open. However, when a lineman wants to open the cutout, 
All that is required is a firm downward pull on the switch stick ring. After the fuse blows, a fuse holder swing stop prevents the fuse holder from hitting the pole or adjoining apparatus by blocking the swing. Another advantage of the Durabute cutout is its reduced vertical height, some five and a half inches in the open position. This important height saving provides more clearance and working room for the lineman. The fuse holder is easy to remove thanks to clearance and perfect balance. And when a new fuse is installed, a collared washer on the fuse link cable clamping bolt prevents the fuse line strand from fouling in the wing bolt threads during tightening. and a spring-driven flipper pulls the fuse link free when clearing low-fault currents. Replacing fuse holders is an easy job because the lower fuse holder support is in clear view from the ground and easy to reach. Another important feature from a lineman's viewpoint is wide jaw guiding. The wide jaws of the lower fuse holder support plus the upper guide-in tongs assure positive guide-in regardless of the lineman's position relative to the cutout. When closing in, a locking cam eliminates stress on the fuse link. Also, when closing in, the fuse holder cannot be lifted out of the lower fuse holder support because of its lock-in half-moon lugs. The lock-in lugs also prevent the fuse holder from jumping out of the frame when a fault does occur. As for terminals, the standard is I-bolt. Parallel groove terminals are also available upon request. Incidentally, all GE cutout terminals are tin-plated. No matter what the installation, copper or aluminum, you never have to order special terminals. And to guard against rust and corrosion, all Durabute cutout hardware is non-ferrous metal or stainless steel. That's the mechanical story. Obviously, not all of these features are exclusive with the Durabute cutout. But there is no other open cutout on the market today that provides all of them in one unit. From a new combination of shape and material, the General Electric Durabute Open Cutout. The rugged new leader in on-the-pole protection. A new concept in open dropout cutouts. A new design, providing superior performance and safer, easier operation. 40% lighter weight for easier handling and installation. 40% more creep and strike with proven interrupting ability. For the perfection of mechanical detail that gives you superior performance and overcurrent protection on your system, on with the new General Electric Durabute Open Dropout Cutouts.